What is up guys? I am up here in North Carolina looking for salamanders and crayfish. Um, we're gonna visit uh, three different spots um, and hopefully turn up some good numbers. There's lots of potential lifers up here. Here's one of the species that lives up here. This is a Blue Ridge two lion salamander. Um, and you can tell this apart from the salamanders that we have back in Georgia, or the Piedmont of Georgia, it, the southern two lion salamander, is that these um, have a longer tail than our southern two lions. And you can see this tail is almost as longer than the rest of the body. So we are up here um, in this kind of habitat, rock crevices, up here in the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina, looking for salamanders. And here is a juvenile gray cheek salamander, a plethodon macalphi. Um, which is really cool. Uh, this is a lifer species for me. Um, actually, this adult right here was my lifer. But really cool species. And just look at their eyes. Stand so much higher than like our native slimy salamanders, which is really cool. But yeah, really cool species. Been wanting to see this for a while now. We are on the board with these southern gray cheek salamanders. Here's a second juvenile, the third one of the night. Here's the big male. I'm pretty sure this is a male. That, this looks like mental glands to me. I could be wrong though. And they have like a lighter colored chin and they get their name from that lighter patch that I guess that gray cheek. But yeah, really cool salamander. Here's our third southern uh, gray cheek salamander juvenile, our fourth one of the night. And it is like right here by my camera bag. I honestly was not expecting to have this much luck starting out, but um, we're doing pretty good right now. Let's hope for that green salamander. Here's another southern gray cheek salamander. This is number seven, our fifth juvenile. And we've saw another juvenile, an adult. The adult got away and I didn't bother showing you the other juvenile. But... These guys seem to be really common here. Nice. This is another salamander. We're, down, we're up to like 12 southern gray cheeks. But here's something different. This is some kind of dusky salamander. Um, I took some photos so I might be able to get an idea on it. Um, um, I have a hard time with these guys, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Um, but yeah, this is something new. If I had to guess, I'd say it's an Okoe salamander, but um, who knows if I'm right or not. And this is, these are just juveniles. There's another one right up here. So yeah, pretty cool. So a little update, we're at like well over 50 gray cheek salamanders. Here's a few more. We yeah, have super cool salamanders. And I'm not sure what's going on with the legs. They got these red bumps. I don't know if that's like a fungus, like chitrid fungus or something, or if that's just how they naturally look. But I guess I'll find out after I get home and do some research. Um, yeah, these red bumps aren't really showing up that well in the video. But as you can see, like, 
their feet just do not look that normal. So. That one's showing up good. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. That foot. I mean, that kind of looks like a normal foot. But you that does not look like a normal foot. So after like 60 gray cheek salamanders, we finally found our first green salamander. There was another one too, but it dipped out into the crevice. But yeah, first one, pretty cool. Oh shit. Ties for that, but really cool. Green salamander. You got the fungus right there. <laughs> Can you see that on your video, this fungus? Yeah, no, it's not really picking up. Mm. But yeah, a green salamander. We're now in western North Carolina along the border with Tennessee and found a, another dusky salamander. Um not really sure what this is i have an idea but um i guess once i find out i'll put the name in the video it's got a kill tail pretty cool pattern and it's pretty good size here is one of the most common species up here in the mountains this is an eastern crayfish uh, Kimbaris bartoni. Um, but yeah, super common up here. I uh, thought I might throw it in the video as well. This looks like this is going to be the last salamander of the trip. This is a, I'm guessing a southern zigzag salamander. Although it might be a southern redback, but I'm thinking it's probably a southern zigzag. Last salamander of the trip, likely unless I find anything else on the way out. Here's the first salamanders of the trip. Here's a blue, another Blue Ridge two line salamander. You saw this one in the last video. And here are some juvenile Okoe salamanders. And both of these species are endemic to the Southern Appalachian Mountains where we are right now. All right, so our next find of the trip is, are these juvenile red leg salamanders. And these spe this species only lives in North Carolina and Georgia. But these are just juveniles, so we're gonna try to hopefully turn up an adult soon. Here's another Okoe salamander. Um, he was flipped under in this little piece of this little log piece and he's found he was found pretty far up from the creek. So pretty terrestrial. Pretty cool. Alright, we found a slightly bigger red leg salamander. Still not the adult we were looking for, but if we don't find anything else, I'll be content with this. But yeah. Super cool, and this is a lifer for me. And, well, I guess it's a lifer for you too, Cuddy. Yeah, for sure. All right, um, we'll go let this guy go and keep looking for more. The first salamander of the night is this white spotted slimy salamander. This is also a lifer for me. Um, and they range all the way up here in the mountains um, bordering North Carolina and Tennessee all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. So pretty varied habitat. 
So this was unexpected. Like it's it's almost gonna be freezing temperature tonight. It's gonna get down to 34. And there is a garter snake just chilling in the spring up here on the mountain. Like he has got to be cold. Here's the next salamander of the trip. So I think this is a black bellied salamander. Um, I mean with that black belly, but um, it might be another species, um, but I'm pretty sure that this is a black bellied salamander, which is pretty cool. Another species for the trip. It was under this rock right here.